Today we've got Jackie here with us to hit a four iron, a five hybrid, and a nine wood. We're gonna hit them all on TrackMan and see how they compare. <laughs> Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, a master fitter here at Second Swing. And today we've got a fun comparison. I know Thomas um, was with us a few videos ago. We did four iron versus a five hybrid versus a nine wood. And today you're gonna do the same comparison with yeah. a little bit slower swing speed though. So yeah. um, what is your in your bag, Jackie? Do you have a four iron, a five hybrid, any of those clubs or a nine wood? Well, technically I have a four iron and a five hybrid, but I am thinking about maybe switching that up. Yeah. So that's uh, what's going to be very interesting today to kind of see uh, what is you know best fit for someone mm -hmm. with my swing speed. You know, I, I'm expecting that four iron is going to be definitely a lower ball flight, um, and nine wood is going to be higher. Yeah. Uh, and the five, uh, you know, hybrid is going to be somewhere in the middle there. So you know, I love my five hybrid right now, uh, and I hit it relatively the same distance as my four iron. So, but just a little bit more height, a little bit more spin. Yeah, for sure. Those are kind of the same trends we saw when Thomas did this test as well. So um, I'm ready to see what happens, though. I know you're ready to hit some shots. You've been warming up, ready to go. Yeah, let's go. All right, so Jackie, that's a G410 four iron. And we have a G410 five hybrid and nine woods. So we're going to go ping G410 across the board here. Um, I mean, are, are you familiar with those clubs? And what do you, I mean, I know they're all forgiving, high launching, but I know you've been fitting a little bit. But um, do you think that's a, anything to think about here? Or is it, this is going to be just a solid test here? Yeah, I think this is just going to be a solid test. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously a little bit more forgiving of a uh, iron that yeah. I'm used to, but I think for my swing speed, definitely yeah. going to be comparable for sure. All right, all right, let's let's hit some shots here. How's that? Pretty good. One? Yeah. That struck well. Yeah, 170-ish is what I'm expecting out of this. All right, so Jackie, that was the four iron, G420, or excuse me, G410. Um, first of all, what do you think of those five shots? I mean, did you hit them all well? Did you strike them well? What do you think? Uh, I hit two of them pretty good, but yeah, three of them were not ideal. Uh, sure. One was really low and short, and the other two I mm -hmm. hit it off to the right. So, I mean, not like crazy miss hits, but definitely not ideal in terms of dispersion for distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so now I mean, I'd like you to kind of pick up that five hybrid that's next here because I wanted to get your thoughts on appearance because um, I was looking at the five hybrid and I could not, I don't know, for whatever reason, it just seemed like it was a ton of loft on a hybrid and that's probably just my own um, you know, experience playing, I don't play hybrids yep. or the one I, ha I have is 20 degrees. So that's a lot of loft. So is that something that you're comfortable looking at? You don't like looking at? What do you think about that? Yeah, it's very, I mean, it looks familiar, familiar to me just because I play a five hybrid right mm -hmm. now. So uh, it doesn't look weird to me at all, but sure. I can see how it could look uh, definitely a little lofted to someone that's not used to it. Um, so. Yeah. So now, in looking down at each of those clubs, do you have a certain, you know, a difference in confidence between the two? Oh yeah, hybrid, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I figured. I mean, that's you. Sure, you look at that and you're like, yep, this is going to go higher in the air, more forgiving. Yeah. Um, and I'm one of those players, a traditional long iron. I, you know, I have to hit it well, otherwise it's it's not going to be a good yeah. performance on it. So, all right, five hybrid. All right. Let's hit them. Chunky. It's still it's still out there though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Better? Oh yeah. A little little chunky, but interesting that had a ton of spin on it. Yep. Oh 
Okay, so Jackie, that was the Ping G4105 hybrid. What's the loft on that one there? 26. 26, okay. And the four iron was actually, I think it's what, 20 and a half. Yeah. So there's a big difference in loft there. Um, so, uh, and this is, a, it's a question that a lot of golfers face, gapping, right? Right. Uh, at this part of the bay, that's the whole reason we're doing this video. Um, and it seems like four iron, five hybrid is a very common, you know, dilemma. And it's interesting though that the loss are so different and yet the distance seems to be comparable. Um, so we can look up here these numbers. Um, it's interesting because I think he had a couple there he didn't quite catch perfect. Yeah. Um, but, you know, distances are pretty similar. A little bit farther with the hybrid after even a couple misses. And then I scroll over and I'm interested in the height. So you had, you know, 10 feet higher in the air with the hybrid. And that was, um, you know, including one that was only 30 feet in the air. You put just a little bit low on the face there. Mm -hmm. So we take that out and you can see how the, the height on average jumps up to 72. So, yeah. you know, what did you, what did, what's your feedback as you're just hitting them? Yeah, I mean, typically my five hybrid I have in my bag right now goes about 170, I would say. Okay. So, um, yeah, I didn't feel like I had like a lot of good swings with uh, that club, but like, as you can kind of see, it wasn't like terrible. But for me, like those four shots that were short, um, I would say, I would call those miss hits, honestly. Yeah. But, you know, I think most golfers would probably take that. But mm -hmm. for me, like, I just felt like I didn't really quite hit the center of the face um, on those swings. But it's a good comparison just because. So of, let of, me ask you this. Yeah. These four iron shots here, did you hit those solid? No. No. You didn't hit anything solid? No. I didn't feel like I, I really didn't hit any of them great. Okay. So. Interesting. Okay. So if we're, we can talk about forgiveness then. Yeah. Because you said you didn't love the contact made on most shots, right? Yep. But hybrid, 10 feet higher. Mm -hmm. You got more of a steeper landing angle and you get more distance, right? Yep. More spin. So Yeah, here, there's definitely... Anyway. De Definitely more forgiveness in the hybrid yeah. than the four iron for sure. Yeah, and it's not, again, we're, you know, this is, it's going to be a player by player thing, but um, it, I think it's interesting to note that, you know, you didn't smash center of the club face on all 10 of these shots. And so it's kind of, it's not going to be a perfect science. You know, there's different impact locations throughout, but for, you know, not perfect contact every shot, we kind of get to see the forgiveness shine here in these clubs. And, you know, while the G410 irons are forgiving, um, it, it's just not a contest between a, f a five hybrid and a four iron. Yeah. Well, and typically more loft is always going to be your friend. So when you talk mm -hmm. about a five yep. hybrid being at 26 degrees, I mean, most players are going to benefit from that, but still be able to get the distance they're looking for from a four right. iron, so to speak. So definitely a good comparison already. Okay. So now the big one here. So a lot of golfers this year getting fit into seven woods and nine woods, um, big, Part of that is because, again, like you said, loft is your friend, more loft, but the way those clubs are built, center of gravity way back and low in the head, and that can launch that ball into the air. So I'm curious to see now after that how the nine would perform for you. Yeah, let's go. And this is at 23 and a half degrees. Okay, 23 and a half degrees. We'll change this to nine wood here. Okay. Okay, so now when you look at that club and I compare that, so you mentioned five hybrid gave you more confidence than four iron. Where is this on that spectrum? Uh, it definitely looks weird. <laughs> like a lot of loft for a wood that yeah. I'm not used to. Yeah. Um, but the loft, I mean, is very similar to the other two clubs. Just with the mass behind it, it just looks different, I would say. Yeah. Does yeah. it look like it's easier to hit or does it look, is it more of a you're weirded out type thing? Oh, uh, it should be easier to hit for mm -hmm. sure. I would, yeah. I would think the dispersion is going to be a little bit tighter on this versus the other okay. two. Okay. All right. That's a well, good hypothesis. We'll see what, yeah. what, what that leads to here. It's oh, definitely that's louder. Go a mile. <laughs> yeah. It's good.
All right, so how was the contact on those five? Definitely felt better. Okay. Like Hit the ball better? Yeah, I felt like I hit the center of the face a lot more on uh, okay. the nine wood than the other two. So, and one thing to note too, right? The nine wood's going to be a longer length. Yeah. So, gonna you're going to you're going to swing faster just by nature. Mm -hmm. um, but I will note too, like you said, you hit it better, and certainly, smash factor is going to be is higher, even though right the loft is going to be actually higher than the four iron at least. It's kind of right in the middle of all three. So that nine wood's what twenty three and a half. Yep. The hybrid was twenty five. 26. 26. Four iron was 20 yeah. and a half. So we're kind of, I mean, it's almost a six degree um, range here. Yep. And uh, so when we mentioned kind of the theory was the nine would be the highest and kind of easiest to hit. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, we're getting to 167 carry here actually to 182 mm -hmm. total. And you're hitting it, you know, compared to a four iron, 23 feet higher. Yeah. And so I, I, I know a lot of golfers don't consider nine woods and I would be, you know, I frankly, I'm one of them, but the benefit of a nine wood in the bag, high lofted fairy wood, higher in the air, steeper landing angle for, for a golfer that doesn't have a ton of speed, it's, there's a lot of advantages to it. Yeah, I think uh, the consensus around a lot of golfers is like you get, um, you know, golfers that are not wanting to get a hybrid or a fairway wood to replace their longer irons. And you know, I think you're starting to see that tide turn a little bit just because yeah. they're able to come in and get fitted and see the difference that they're getting from it. Um, whereas it's like, oh no, I want to hit my three yeah. iron and four iron and, you know, but the reality is you, with those longer irons, you just don't get the height especially if you don't have a faster swing speed. Right. Um, you know, you get faster swing speed, the longer mm -hmm. irons typically boat a little bit better. But, you know, if you're anywhere from 70 miles an hour to, you know, in the 80s, right. uh, typically four or three iron is not going to be something you want in right. the bag. Well, it just, it really um, decreases the margin of error that someone yeah. has. You know, if they're not swinging super fast, and they've got four iron distance away, or maybe it's five hybrid distance away. You're gonna get this, if the, comparing those two, you're gonna have much more room for error with a hybrid. And of course, with a nine one, as we see, um, that room for error only increases. Because um, you just get, you can hit, you have more fi surface area to work with on the club face, you got more weight behind it. I mean, it's, there's, the benefits are there. And I think you're seeing finally now, like you said, the tide is turning a little bit. The, even on the PJ Tour, a yeah. lot of guys are adopting a seven wood. Yeah. Um, and these are guys that swing, you know, among the fastest swing speeds right. in the world. And if they can play it, they see the benefits of it, then, you know, the, the average amateur um, can probably consider it as an option, you know, instead of your four or five iron. Yeah, I think uh, the cons my overall uh, view of this entire test here is like when I'm, when I'm fitting someone, um, the conversation is always about how can we get it in the air and stop it into the green because mm -hmm. Sure, you can hit a longer iron a mile maybe, but does it roll out right. 20, 30 yards? On a firm yards? green, you have no chance yeah. anyway. And so getting something that has a steeper landing angle is definitely more ideal for holding greens mm -hmm. and being able to make birdies and pars that can improve your game. So, um, yeah, this is, I mean, I, I expected a little bit of this. I think I, I was thinking that the five hybrid would go maybe a little bit farther, yeah. but I know you didn't quite hit it exactly yeah. how you wanted to, but, but the nine wood, I definitely hit better than I thought I would. Um, so that was, it was good to see. Might have to put it in the bag. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, maybe <laughs> yeah, you got to figure out the gapping is the next part, yeah. right? Um, yeah. Cause that's the next piece here is, and you know, woods are going to go farther than hybrids and hybrids are going to go farther than iron. Yeah. So it's not just a, a loft comparison there, right? That's the next step. But, Interesting test here, and the results are pretty similar to what Thomas did too, um, where it's, you know, nine, nine wood, highest launching. Um, it's going to have the steepest landing angle, most forgiveness, and then kind of down the, the ladder there the, to the hybrid and the iron. So um, next thing we recommend then, golfers that are watching this, stop in a second swing, talk with one of our expert fitters, such as Jackie, and they'll help you out and, you know, fig figure out what you need for your dilemma. Maybe you do have a fast enough swing speed where an iron or hybrid is the choice for you and you'll hit a nine wood too high. Um, but I think a lot of 
you know, the, the popular, most common swing speeds out there, hybrid or nine wood here, in this case, is probably going to be the best for their games. For sure.